doing some active trading. We're out here in Medea. We're checking up on some rumors. I have 700 mil that I'm investing into this. We're not going to go overboard with it. Just something to, to start us out. There's going to be a price hike with the raw materials and the relics. So I'm going to invest into the raw materials. Okay, so that rumor turns out to be true. And let's go invest into everything I can. So far, I've invested only into Balanos, I have a complete total of what I've invested in so far. 191.8 million. I'm trying to use the full 700. Head to Tariff. While we're heading out to Tariff, let me check my order contract, make sure. Which they've made active trading a whole lot easier. I can now just check my newsletter from one little interface and I can check all the supplies that are being quoted. The relics are going to be the most expensive ones that I'm going to be investing in, I feel like. Okay, so Kusha is where I'm going to go for my military supply because I feel like that's going to be the more better investment I guess I can I can say it's going to be a better investment I'm just going to go out on a limb and and do this all right here we go here we go let's see what am I taking because milit if I take a full load of military supply that'll be 139 mil and I don't know if I want to invest that much into it yeah we're gonna go ahead and do it we're going to invest the, the full 139 into it. So let's add that in. Now let's go and invest into Crucia. And then I guess I'll take a swing over at Stonetail. While I'm writing, let's check the newsletter. Yeah, that's all I'm going to stick to. Serendia has no raw materials, so I can't do it. Calpheon has no clothing, so I can't. Let's see... Serendia, raw material. I think after checking there wasn't anything, but I'll double check again. Let's check Glish. Because I don't think Glish has... Oh, Glish does have... No, Glish is also, see? That's what I mean. Let's see, we want military supply because I think that'll be a huge investment. So let's add 45 uh, or 45 mil to it. We're at 375 mil total invested. Yep, definitely Balanos and Medea. I might have to just trade Balanos to Serendia, then Medea to Serendia. Just even it out. Trade, what am I taking? Relics? Yeah, well. We'll take the relics. They seem like they're going to be on the rise again. I might be wrong with this. I didn't see anything about the relics, but I might be wrong. 151 mil is a lot to be wrong on. We'll do it. We'll take a chance. We'll gamble. Okay, so let's add 151 mil to it. We're at 526. Technically, I already have all of that, so... Maybe if I invest into something, I don't know what I'm going to invest into. I... Uh, I think I'll just go back to Duvencroon and get my wagon, head back to Balanos and start taking out extra investments, I guess. We'll do that. I'll double up in my warehouses so I can get more. We'll go use the whole entire money that I have in my bag and hopefully I'm not going to need any repairs or money right then and there. We'll find out, though. It's just a matter of time. We just need to get over to Duvencroon as quickly as possible. I still have 46 minutes until the trade reset, so I'm hoping to swing by Balanos to get more stock on my investments that I have out there. I know they're going to be military supply, I think, and or raw material. Let's check. Yep, raw material, so... I'll double up on them, use up all the money that we have left, and hopefully I can make back more than the 700 mil. I figured it'd be an easier way to go ahead and tell how much I can get at the end. And just make it a, an easy, rounded number. Nothing odd, nothing out of the ordinary. Just a rounded, simple 700 mil. Nothing too extreme. We're not going to invest a billion into it. Just getting rid of everything in the bag will make it a lot easier to figure out how much we get. I thought I already had a couple of horses ready for this, but luckily we have some time. Let's take out this horse and head over to go tame another one. I feel as though it'd be a lot easier to train up my training and get some horses ready for Imperial delivery while I'm doing active trading too. A little bang for my buck.
You got to get into that real immersive feel. You got to get your horses for your wagon to start doing your active trading. Here you go. Yeah, eat the, the sugar. You're mine now, horse. You're not walking. This is the speed of your walking when your manager tells you to do something at work and you hate the manager. You don't want to do the task. This is how quickly you walk over to do it. It's going to be a tier six. I have never gotten a, a tier seven. Let's get buffed up. I don't really need to worry about my trading experience buffs itself. I'm more worried about my horse and getting the most out of this whole experience for the longest. There we go. Nine hours, nine hours, four hours, nine hours. Let's see, plus 10%. Mount experience plus 20% mount experience, another 30 mount, another 30 training, another 30 mount, another 30 training, and another 20 on training. Not to mention my plus four that has plus 31 mount, my costume that gives a plus, I want to say like 60 or 70, 70% 70 on the mount experience and my artifacts are also it gives me plus 10 training experience and a total of 25 mount experience i think i'm ready and all my crystals that i have on i think my crystals are yeah my crystals is plus 41 training experience and 75 weight head out to balance i have all plus seven gear on my forest path so i can get the most trade crates from all of this i can have the max amount well for balanos it's going to be three trips because i'm trying to overstock my warehouses I got 180 mil left that I need to get rid of. So doubling up seems like it's going to be the more logical route. Going by the rumors, I think these are rising. They looked right. I visited the areas. They they were complaining. So I'm going to attempt it. And they've made it a lot easier for active trading. So I don't have to check the or go to the actual trade manager to check everything. Everything is all in one little UI now. And the only downside is it takes energy to check, but if you have some good energy, you're going to regain it all while you're riding. It's not even a problem. These are the horses I'm training just for the Imperial delivery. I thought about getting one more training pet, but the durability is going to help out with our wagon parts. I'm hoping to come back with at least 900 mil, a nice 200 mil come up after investing everything but i know everyone doesn't like active trading everyone feels like active trading is a waste of time um the the money that you make is pretty low you don't get a lot of experience the byproducts are bugged you don't get the artifacts uh, there's a lot of gripes a lot of gripes with active trading but i enjoy it i like getting out into the world i like seeing the the different npcs around the, the towns making me feel like i'm involved into the world opposed to just going for from tune to tune, teleporting, making me feel like I'm some godly, godly being on the planet, you know? It, I just want to feel like I'm immersed into it. I'm a normal type of person in the game. It keeps me enjoying the game more. I don't get burned out. I am curious to see how much experience I will be getting for doing the stupid little active trading. Like the last time I did active trading was right before they made the rumors and the orders and everything a lot easier to figure out. This way is a lot easier. I've checked all the rumors and all of the rumors that said that they were hiking were relatively right. 75% of the, the four that I checked were right. I'm taking a gamble out in Medea. I'm not sure about the relics. I did not see the, the relic rumor. I only got to see the military supply. So we got one gamble in the air and five legit confirmed rumors. I have done a full region, three region turn in going from Balanos, Serendia, and Calpheon and a little bit of Medea all just trading one region to the next because I invested into all of their nodes just to find out how what is needed to make money with active trading how many investments you have to put into how many price hikes you have to find and get correct just to make all of your money back and then some which is i want to say three hikes you have to get some pretty pretty good one mil to two mil price hike it's the really really good price hikes that make it worth active trading i'll see what they have I'm not sure they have anything that I can invest into because I've already taken it. Let's find out, Loot. Hey, man, how's it going? Mmm. Yeah, because it's only raw material and I already got the raw material. Okay, so maybe medicine. We'll put the money into that. Even though I don't feel like it's going to rise. Okay, so that is... 
another 49 mil. We are at 130. Continue heading out to Olivia. This is what I plan to show you guys what really goes into active trading and see if it's going to be worth it for you guys. I know I normally don't show active trading. I only did a guide on how to do it. But today we're going to take the time out to do some active trading. We're going to invest 700 mil into it. Hopefully we can make back 900 mil or more. If I can break that one bill, I'd be I'd be happy be a giddy little boy we're gonna see i might be down 150 mil on the one gamble that we're attempting but for the most part all the other little trade goods that we're going for are our uh, order contracts are, I think they're going to play out. And if they do play out, I'm looking at at least a mil, a two mil increase on each trade good. We're going to take more raw materials, try to make a little bit of a comeback. They're not Western. We're going to Bartali. Auto pathing. Ugh, love it. I love it in this game. Yeah, we're not doing this whole taking the road type thing. Where I'm going, I don't need roads. I need uh, medicine. Yeah, we're going to do some medicine. We are at 63 mil. I guess what we can do is go over there to Alejandro's farm. We have 19 minutes left. All right, Alejandro. What's up, man? I feel like food might be the better option to go to. Yeah, it's going to be food because I have no raw material for the time being. The flour and the honey seems like they're going to round out and start rising up again just slowly slowly there we go i am now left with 1400k or 400k sorry that is all 700 mil invested into all of our trade goods now we just have to wait our 15 minutes to go and do the trade reset go horse go don't get stuck on the fence this time even though they they said they corrected the whole auto pathing and the bridges and the fencing and not getting stuck on the fencing like i did earlier when i wasn't even at the keyboard there we are that's all the notifications let's find out how much we've made okay so i bought it for one mil it is now two mil one mil 1.6 mil nice 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 Okay, it raised up just a little bit. That was a gamble worth it. Okay, that raised up too. That I did lose out on, but I knew I knew the medicine was a huge gamble. I'm down, be down a little bit, not real noticeable, but still down. I'm up on this one almost a mil. Let's check Alejandro because I know that was a little iffy. Down a little, up a little. Okay, let's check out Medea. There, that's what I'm talking about. That's the, the price hikes that makes trading worth it. Let's go check over here. I'm still making money. Okay. Kusha. Kusha has, yep, 900k put in. I'll be getting 1.6 mil back on each. Yeah, I think it was worth it. Now let's go ahead and trade everything in. And to get the most experience, I will be getting into my trading clothes and my artifacts and everything like that. Hello, Lolly. I'm here to collect my goods. All right, so let's make a mental note. At the start of our trading, we are at 21.11. Let's get into our clothes, get all switched out. Artifacts, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I still got fish. Wow, I still got fish. That fish tank, though. There. 27. I did not expect to still have that thing on me. Yeah, we'll we'll get rid of them. We'll grab Alejandro Farm and we'll head out to Velia. I tell you, we have to talk to someone and you guys take me all the way around his house. All right, Alejandro, I need... We'll take that. Take all 22. I thought they fixed this. All right, Bahar. What's up, bro? How you doing? There we are. There we are. Yeah. <laughs> Two mil over. Hey, Bartali, what's up? How you doing? Yeah, I've come here to collect in some goods, turn in some goods. How much money am I at so far? We are at 47.1 mil. All right, let's find out. Am I making it? Yeah. Another 22 mil. We've already made back 102 mil. I still prefer crate trading. Active is not going to get you the experience that you're looking for. I'm not counting in the 700 mil. I want to know what I make afterwards. That's that's cool. All we got to do, subtract what we have at the end from what we started with, and we'll have the total amount. I think the longest process definitely has to be the turning in. It's not even the investing that you do. Just having to head to each town. 
it's the the wagon trading the aspect just having to travel that's the part that takes long How much money are we up to 134 our tally should have a little bit more goods that we can trade in how you know you become a pro at getting into Bartali's farm. Ah, I'm stuck. Get back on the road. Don't waste a good. Okay, now that we are back, hey, I need a trade. Can we do this in one go? Yes, we can. Okay, there we are now at 189 mil out of the 700. It'll be one more load at Bartali, so I'll swing by Bartali, then swing by Western, head out to... Medea. Medea is where I'm gonna make a lot of money at. Hello, I've come to collect some things. Let's go. We're on the path of making back the 700 mil and more. We're on a really nice path to doing it. You know, a lot of times people ask me why I don't bother making an episode of Life of a Shy on active trading. This is why. Just how long it takes to travel from each place the investing that you have to do it's boring it's really really boring to sit there and and go through here we go back in town give me my my deal there we go we're at 206 mil gotta grab this last load Ooh, 21 out of 22 it's not worth heading over to the western guard camp yet we'll do that on the next turn in Let's head out to Medea. I didn't get any military. I didn't get any of these. There was no clothing, clothing, so I didn't have to worry about it. And then Medea, I didn't really get any of these, so... I'm not losing money if I don't sell anything. I know I'm losing money if I hold on to things, so... This whole cycle, I am clearing out shop. It's going to be a while. We have all of Medea that I invested into. We have the rest of Balanos that I invested into just getting done trading out all of my Serendia goods and the Bartali farm goods. I'm trying to see how much I can make over the 700 mil that it took to invest into and I am mainly going by hikes. There were a couple gambles in there which were a little bit less than what I invested in. Not not by much like probably a hundred K less than what I invested in. But I made sure to remove all of my money from my bags. I only had the uh, 700 to invest in. Everything else I made sure wasn't going to contaminate the experiment. So this is what we've made back. That's all accurate. Why Why are you running? What, what are you doing, horse? I'm now doing the active trading to see if we can make money or if it's just like pocket change. Bargain. Eight mil more. Or eight mil profit, I should say. I'm only making the eight mil. I mean, yeah, technically you're only making the eight mil, but you're getting back all of the money that you invested into those goods and that eight mil. All right, trade manager number nine. No, not that much. We're riding around. This is what's really gonna make my money. After spending 1.4 mil on each, I'm getting back. Or no, I, I spent 2.7 on them. I'm getting back 4.1. Byproducts suck though. Bargain game it. Yeah, 36 mil over. We are at 373 mil. Let's go back to Velia, get these traded in. It's not bad for investing in how much we did. I was planning on doing the full hunt, the full bill on trade goods and everything. But after looking at the price hikes, the rumors and everything that wasn't going to be playing out, I thought it'd be more of a, a waste of the money to try to gamble on the lesser valued order contracts that weren't going to rise or had more of a chance of failing. 500 to 700 mil is a nice starting point on getting some active trading done that gives you enough to play around with, especially if you've been doing a lot of trading before the whole trade re rework. You have a wagon, you have the money to invest in. If you're just starting out, I suggest taking one region, preferably say like Balanos or Heidel, and just running the trade goods from region to region like that. It's quicker, it's easier. A lot of times their price hikes are are pretty decent, pretty decent for what they're worth. But as a new player, heading out to try to get as many regions as possible, I don't think is gonna be worth it. Just a slower wagon alone makes it not worth doing multiple regions. I know, I have a noble wagon. Really makes you feel alive. 14 mil profit. 300 mil I'm hoping to make coming home with one bill after all of my investments have come back. I have to stress that out. After all of the investment and everything has come back, I'm hoping to come home with a bill. I'm just looking to make 300 mil or more 
profit after everything. That's all I could ask for with active trading. I'm not going to be extremely greedy and try to go for more than 500 mil because I know that's not going to be possible. I One, I did not get enough hikes. Two, I did not invest enough money into it to get back anywhere of value like that. I know that though. If I really want to make money with trading, trade crates, Calpheon crates, Serendia crates, go for your your translucent amulets, the crimson ones, the red amulets and things like that. Like go for those if you want to make money. Active trading is if you want to experience the world. If you want to be immersed into your game and have something other than just teleporting from place to place. That's how I look at active trading. It doesn't make a lot like how your crate trading can, especially for active. Okay, I would think active would make a lot more than AFKing, but setting up a trade empire with your, your crates and things like that is a lot more beneficial to trading than actually doing trading. We're still out here doing it though. I need my one trade artifact. I need one more. That's all I'm missing. Yeah, for trading experience, I started out 22.11. I am at 22.64. It is not worth it for the experience either. That's where the trash crates come in. Here we go, 36 mil profit. We are sitting at 516 mil, 200 mil more, and that is all the money that I invested. Anything after that is pure profit. That is not too bad. Where is my orders at? Which one? Where am I going to? We'll take all six of those and we'll head over to Stone Tail. And then pick up his goods, and then we'll head out to Heidel again. All of the money that we have in our bag currently right now is the money that we invested and have made back. Nothing has been added. Nothing has been taken out. We are going to see how much we can totally make after all of the money has been invested in and brought back. I'm thinking we're probably going to make around 200 to 300 mil over the 700 mil that we invested in. Because no one likes active trading. No one feels like it makes them money so we're out here we're gonna show people just what it looks like to do some active trading and if it's even worth their time 14 and then two oh, and now we can head back to heidel i did get lucky enough to get six price hikes and two that were pretty much duds they will make me 100k less than than what i invested into so i'll be down at least 10 mil but we got a nice fresh cup of coffee we are ready we are active trading we are seeing the world taking a tour around black desert we're getting immersed into the the civilian life as they spawn up trying to kill me you can try i don't think you'll make it all right let's find out what our profit is 28 mil over there we go there we go is that the one i want that's what i needed that's what I was waiting for. There we go. We got it. Now I don't have to do the, the active trading for my trade artifacts. I can finally just go and focus on tra crate trading and I can get the most experience back. That's all I wanted. That was the real main focus of active trading. For those who are trying to get all of your artifacts, get all of the non-generic ones. Yeah, definitely worth the active trading just for that. If you can get lucky enough to get the quest pop up. The artifact hunt has been successful. I am almost done. And that's 21. And we can head back to Heidel. And our last stop is over there at Olivia. And I want to say we have Stone Talon and Kusha left. There you guys go. We are sitting at 650 mil. I need 50 mil more. And we are now working on straight pure profit. And I'm currently building up a stack of gathering clothes to try to get a plus three i put in 320 mil worth of the forest trace plus 28 these are all going to be used for my silver embroider i mean once you do a plus three tap you're like okay i i got a feel for it i don't like doing farming because of that. I don't, i'm not going to invest my money into my farming gear because of that all right we were able to get 107 mil over what we invested into our trade goods and we're still not done we're heading back out to olivia we have to get our last little bit of trade goods out there and then head out to medea like i told you guys i just wanted to make at least 200 to 300 mil over what i invested in so far we are going up to the 200 mil all right lolly here we go do you guys remember when there used to be a golden chest up there that everyone sought after I've only seen it once in my life. Yes, I am active trading. 
I invested 700 mil into my order contracts and we are currently sitting at 807 mil. Let's go trade these in. Not too shabby, not too shabby. I'm thinking we're going to come back with at least 100, 120 mil on the next turn in with a 22 mil profit, at least a 22 mil profit. I could be a little highballing it, but I think with my trading and, and level and all, it should come out to at least 22 mil over. 23 mil, told you. All profit. All right, we are at a 156 mil. Let's keep going where did we go from we were just over at olivia that's right yeah you can use agris during gathering now so for everyone that made fun of me for keeping my agris on all the time and how it was only used for mob grinding yeah now who's laughing <laughs> now who's laughing <laughs> i guess that'd be 18 all right kusha it was great seeing you but we got to go but even with that I managed to do it in a day. Yeah, that's my that was my issue. I had to combine everything to make the decoration manually instead of just getting the decoration. It's not bad. We're already at 896 mil, 190 or 189 mil over what we put in. Put the 700 into our central market and then everything we have else, that's what we've made. That'll be the easiest way to tell you how much you can make while active trading if you happen to get a lot of the price hikes and things like that because there's a lot of variables that go into active trading it's not just you pick a trade good and you're instantly going to make back all of the money that you get and also you have to take into account your trading level those who have lower trading level than master will make less than those who have higher so just try not to automatically look at it and figure it's doing bad hold on my dogs are going crazy downstairs ba, 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 ba. how many order contracts do we have left we have 28 over there in balanos and then we still have our 28 over here oh and i still have stone tail I forgot about Stone Tail. Oh, this is definitely not for everyone, but if you take the time out to do it, it can be fun. Let's go ahead, trade, grab the two. This way I can go from Kusha all the way down to Stone Tail and finally get all of that wrapped up. We'll go over to Olivia, get the goods wrapped up over there, and then we can finally find out how much we've made. If you're not trading, you're missing out on 100 mil profit. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. We are over 100 mil profit. We have already shattered that number. I am now sitting at 935. So that is almost 300 mil profit over and i still have two more pickups to go i just want to come back with 1.2 bill 1.3 bill if you're trying to do something casual and spend more time talking and socializing while actively playing the game yeah trading is trading is great if you want to level up your horses actively and still play the game and make some money back in the process trading is definitely definitely where you're going to spend most of your time with 54 byproduct which isn't that great but the money though the money is where i'm really really excited about this turn in should give me my at least 1.1 bill 22 mil or 23 mil what what 982 mil let's head out to medea again how much longer do we have we have an hour and 19 minutes left and we are finally almost done yeah it's not for everyone I, I think I can go out, do two hours worth of sniper hunting or just regular hunting, doesn't really matter. And I can get leveled up my, my gathering like it's nothing. Because, like I said, you can do it easier on hunting. We are at one bill. Told you I wanted to come back with at least a billion. All right, we're finally about to get our last little batch of trade goods and find out how much we've made total for our trading the only thing that isn't in here is the i want to say balanos region their goods because i had to do it before the trade reset and everything i didn't want to lose it and it's kind of a little difficult trying to set up a live trading session when we have to wait the four hours for each trade reset to happen if it wasn't for the investment that you have to put in and having to wait for the reset it'd be a lot easier to go ahead and do. But luckily I I did enough to go ahead and show you guys on camera. So the other little half can be a uh, speculation, not really speculation. I mean, you get, you see the end result anyway, and then I continue the process. And then the measly last little six. 
There we go. Now we just head back over to Heidel. Once we get back over to Heidel, we can separate what we've made and what was invested in or what was used to invest in. It's easy. And as you can see, you make something back. I've made almost 400 mil back. Yeah, but it's not the 500. You could have made a lot more by just using your trade crates which is why I had my trade crates already going. I was a little off on the horse training. Only 13, 11, 11, 10, or 10, 10, 11, 13. I didn't get up to 14 or 16. Almost there, then we can find out. It's not gonna be much. I just wanna turn it in just to give you guys the most accurate amount that I can. I'm thinking probably two, two mil. Okay, let's find out. Come on, first go, no. Oh, six mil. Not too bad, not too bad. For the one trade cycle, I was able to make about, let's take out the 700 mil that I used to invest because I told you guys that I would. We put in 700 mil to invest into the, the contract orders. So after all of the money was invested and we're looking at straight profit, we have made 356 mil over the 700 mil that we used to invest into all of the order contracts for active trading. We have managed to get 60 of the stained silk. Not really that great. Three hours that it took to finish the active trade cycle wasn't bad. It was just straight active trading. If you're looking to make the most money out of trading, I would stick to, yeah, I would stick to the normal crate trading, trying to active trade for the stained silk. Like Ani says, they do really need to buff the uh, the stained silk, just how many we can get for the trade-ins that we're doing. I did a lot of trade-ins and only coming home with 60 stained silk is kind of, kind of low. If you are currently actively training your horses for just breeding and imperial trade-ins for the chance at the box, not trying to go for a Courser, not trying to go for a T9, T10, none of those type of attempts. You were just training your horses to sell, just trying to make money off of them like that. Then active trading is the best thing that you could possibly do while training your horses. You make the money while training, you make the money while trading, you, you get the extra chances at breeding. It even forces you to go out and capture horses too. So you get the extra training experience there too. So definitely if you are into active trading, active Active training, you like your horses, you like your wagons and things like that, then active trading is definitely for you. If you're trying to get the most money that you can, again, stick to crates. Crates are going to be your money maker. That's going to be where you get most of your experience. It was fun doing active trading. I told you guys I would. Just catch it over on YouTube. While you're over there, be sure to subscribe to me, turn on all notifications so you don't miss out on any new Black Desert content. And it was always fun having you guys in here. Ani, OC, John, Live. I don't know how to pronounce your name i do apologize but yeah l it was great having you in here too i shall see you guys tomorrow have a nice night everyone